Awesome thing of the week is, and I'm guessing it's pronounced Zim. It's actually X-I-M. Um, it's an app that's cross-platform made by Microsoft. Um, it's a photo sharing app, but it's not a photo sharing app like we would typically think about your average Instagram or Facebook or, or whatever, um, or Dropbox. It, it actually allows you to kind of sit with a group of people and everyone can put Zim on their device. So it's obvious it's made by Microsoft. So obviously there's a Windows phone version, there's an Android version um, there. And they, they just recently launched the iOS version. Not sure necessarily why it took them so long, but what Zim allows you to do is you can take pictures from, from pretty much anywhere, whether it be your camera roll, your Instagram, your Facebook, Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. Um, and you can kind of cast them to all the other devices. And as you scroll through these pictures, as you scroll through the pictures, the other devices stay in sync with what you're looking at. So I, I don't, I don't know if you've ever been in a restaurant and you're, you're, you'll be like, Hey, check this out. And a bunch of people either have to huddle around a, a, a five inch screen or a four inch screen or a six inch screen, depending on the size of your phone, or you end up handing your phone to someone and then they start rummaging through it. Like it's the lost and found or, um, or, or changing your uh, language to Spanish. Yes. Why is Siri? Espan- Why am I serious in Espanol? <laughs> renaming, renaming your contacts to famous star Wars characters or it's making Siri fun. refer to me as the booty master. <laughs> So, so I, I really like the concept. I, I, I think it's great. I, I've not gotten to test the app out yet, unfortunately. Um, Crazy Krause and I were talking about playing around with it someday at work this week. Um, the other thing you do is when you share out, you, you use your phone's contact list. So you can either send via email or phone number, and then they get the link, and then it, it pops them right into the app. So. I, I think it's a I think it's an excellent idea. It kind of builds on one of the prior reviews I did or, or tips around um, photo album sharing um, in iOS, but this is obviously cross cross platform. And um, that this they only stick or obviously it's using the cloud to then push the content up and, and bring it back down. Um, but the they only the content only stays up in the cloud for a short period of time, so it's people can't necessarily get back to the content you showed them. Awesome! Have you downloaded this and poked around? It? Like, is this something that you guys have to be kind of in person to use, right? Yeah, you would be in person to use this much, just just like showing pictures off mm-hmm. off your phone, right? It's it's not like Facebook where I'm going to post something and let all my friends see it. It's it's more meant to be. We're all in the same physical location. So, for but instance, I'll walk you through mm-hmm. a set of pictures or photos. So, I've been able to just you know download it. It'll it logs in like I, I logged into Instagram. Um, I can actually look at videos that are actually mine and ones that I've just simply liked. Um, and I guess it, I guess you sync over from there, or I select it and. So let's say, uh, do they have to have, do, does the other person have to have the app? So what happens is I think if you send it to another person and they don't, I think it'll probably prompt you to download it, but yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, have- I just sent, I said like this picture, uh, from IWC this past weekend. That I like from the great Dan Hooven, Daniel Hooven. If you want to go mm-hmm. check him out on Instagram, he's a really good photographer. Um, I just sent a text over to Missy apparently. What, what are you getting over there? Uh, did you get a text from me from Zim? I, I did. You did? And what is it? What does it kind of push you through to? Something confusing? Not really. It loaded. Oh, it did load. It actually did load the uh, the, the slideshow. Yep. So you're on that slide. Oh, and it just popped up on my screen. Um, it's, uh, it's a slideshow. Uh, apparently if I add pictures to it, you'll, it'll reflect that over there. Yeah. And it told me that you left. It told me that I left. So it's actually giving her pop-ups, I guess, in browser in a, in a HTML app. Ah, 
And I've joined. Yeah. So so it, it's not you don't even have to have the application on everybody's phone in order for this to work. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I yeah, thought it was a pretty it was a very interesting concept of otherwise using using the the cloud. What what was that? I'm sorry. What was that, Chilla? I was I said it was it's a very interesting concept of using the cloud to keep everyone in sync when trying to view something. Well isn't that what I mean, uh, Go ahead. And she said it is prompting her to install the app, but it was mostly like it looked like it was reacting. And like there were there were animations on the screen saying that I had left, and it's the same as they were for me when she arrived with the little icons and stuff. Um, I mean, this kind of you know, like I said, with them in the cloud, they're, they want to push more stuff, so we're using their cloud services, right? So, right. and obviously, you know, the ideal situation is going to be us using OneDrive to do this, right? Yeah, and, and what I'm thinking about too, where this would be really nice, is if you if you were in like an auditorium giving a presentation, mm-hmm. and you had everyone go to this, where maybe maybe there's no that'd be awesome. There's no like way back in the back of the room, right? Maybe you can't see the screen, or the screen's not big enough, whatever. Throughout the presentation, you can now cast this to all the screens on the de- on all the devices and kind of scroll through. And obviously, the the device you're controlling, you're going to be sharing that screen and projecting. But I think it would give everyone in the audience the capability to then move forward. And I'm trying to log in and download it right now um, to to kind of see what you're looking at and and walk walk them through something. I, I think it's I, I think not only for photo sharing, but if you if you take this to the next step and start to really move it forward. Awesome. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.